Hello, I want to introduce you to the new series that we are starting which is called Subclasses and Superclasses. A long time ago, I introduced the idea of plant sensations that in each family of plant, for example, Loganiaceae or Asteraceae or other families, each family has a specific sensation that goes across all the remedies of that family and uh, it made it much easier to identify the remedy for the patient once you knew the sensation of that family. For example, in Loganiaceae, you have shock and surprise. You see this in Gelsemium, in Naxomica, in Ignatia and all the remedies of this family. So once you have that sensation, you could go to that family and find a remedy from there. But this development was many years ago. In the last couple of years, I realized that we have to take this forward. And how do we take it forward? You see, the plant kingdom is divided into several classes such as the mosses, the ferns, and then the gymnosperms, and then the monocotyledons and the dicotyledons. And each of these classes have subclasses. The dicotyledon has six subclasses. And each subclasses has several orders, and each order has families. So the development of this work, I started to try to explore and understand the common sensation of each subclass. For example, you know the family of Compositi and the family of Loganiaceae and the family of Solanaceae, they come in the sixth subclass. I started to understand what is the common factor here so that we could now actually go to the subclass and then look for the family within that. It's a much broader and a much clearer idea. Similarly, in the first subclass, you have the Papaveraceae and the Ranunculaceae and the Magnoliales and all of these families. What is common? The common theme in that whole subclass is the idea of, you know, raw, exposed, no skin, extremely sensitive and uh, everything affects him, even the smallest thing can affect him tremendously. Whereas when you go to the sixth subclass with Arnica and with Solanaceae and with Loganiaceae, you see the it is not a small thing that affects him, but a big thing that affects him. It's a big injury, a big terror, a big shock, a big surprise, a big grief. And the reaction is not you know, like in the first subclass, the reaction is to withdraw and become numb and I don't want to face this kind of thing. In the sixth subclass, when the effect is violent, the reaction is violent also. So in this way, you can differentiate, for example, a remedy like Staphysagria, which is in the first subclass, to a remedy like Ignatia, which is in the sixth subclass. The entire map of the plant kingdom became so much more clearer and therefore became so much more useful in practice. I started using these ideas and I can tell you there was a big shift in the results. From this came the idea of how do we go deeper into each patient's basic experience and here I devised what is called the wise processes by certain exercises which I explain in, in, uh, in great length in the series, we are able to go deeper into the patient, especially people who do not express themselves very well. 
and you can there are techniques which I have described with case examples where you can go deeper into their experience and bring out this basic pattern or reaction so that it becomes even easier to know which subclass, which family they belong to. And uh, the last step is that these kind of reaction patterns that we see in the subclasses can be compared with similar reaction patterns in the animal kingdom and in the mineral kingdom, thus forming what I, I would call as superclasses. So now we can actually identify which superclass this patient belongs to and then we can see in this superclass which part of the animal kingdom or mineral or plant that we can find him in. So this whole thing gives a kind of an atlas, a map of the entire homeopathic materia medica and it makes it so much easier to navigate to the right remedy. I presented these ideas in Bangalore and then I presented them in my seminar in Munich in the last year and uh, people who participated felt that it was very, very useful in their practice also. Therefore, while these ideas are still under development and they will remain so for a long time, yet we, we have credible and useful information that is uh, I would like to share with my colleagues and that is the idea of bringing out this series which consists of 14 talks and the total length is 21 hours and uh, it will give you a very good introduction and an entry point into the subclasses, into the wise processes and into the superclasses. And uh, I, I am very happy that we are able to bring this out as an online course and uh, I wish that uh, you will take benefit of this. Thank mm -hmm. you.